No messing around today, boys. We're getting straight on it. Taxi time to the airport. Talk about your runaway to start a day. I've got to go to the airport, but rather than hopefully not missing it, I just got these cat gloves through, which I'm just dropping off at Lydia's house because I really want to see him work on the cat. Package delivered. Terminal three. We meet again. I'm really hoping I'm on time for this flight. It's currently 10.30. My flight's at 12. That should be more than enough, but you know how the airports can be. Sometimes they're hit, sometimes they're missed. I have my phone, I have my wallet, and I have my passport. As far as I'm aware, I don't need anything else. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Ticket. <laughs> <sighs> I wanna say no messing around, I got straight through security, but I got, I got stopped. I got stopped, do you know why? One liquid. You're supposed to put that in a see-through bag. This one liquid on its own. I put it in the tray, and then they got uh, my bag got pulled. I didn't follow the rules properly. All right, London Heathrow. Uh, I don't even. Yeah, two ten. We've not even started boarding yet. Sweet. This now gives me a little bit of time to go to the airport lounge, get some food. I've already edited and uploaded my vlog. You know what? I'm feeling pretty organised today. You know how we always say breakfast is the most important meal of the day. Oh, I forgot to have my breakfast. So instead, I'm going to help myself to this. There is nothing quite like. Uh, a cold piece of toast with jam on it. Mmm. Crispy. The one reason it's worth going business class with British Airways is for this Oriental mix. Mm. Worth it. Boom. Gate 142 and child who's crying. If you're on my plane, I'm gonna throw you out the window. Oh yeah. Look at the size of that queue. Lovely jubbly. We're about to land in London, pretty much sideways. The wind is hella strong. Quick 25, 30 minute flight, and we're already touching down. Spook. And just like that, I've made it to London. It's 10 past one now, and my flight to LA is not till 10 past four. I've got ages. My vlog's edited, so I literally have nothing to do. Introducing terminal, um, I don't know where I am. This is where I bought Alice's watch from, just... I bought Alice's watch from just down here. I should go and just, like, look at watches and see if the guy will give me another beer just so I can sit there and chill and talk to him about expensive watches. Because I've got so much time to kill. I don't know what to do. Now, as soon as the last time I was at the pub, I managed to lose this, so I need another one. So I'm gonna spend another 25 quid to get this back. But then, as you can see, I think I'm finally gonna buy one of these because they're only a tenner. And I don't really have a, a lot of selection of designs, but this thing is probably gonna be so helpful for me to just like stand my phone up just so I can like film and stuff like that. I'm doing it. Only 127 right now, and I'm not flying till 410. I've got I've got absolutely ages to wait. <sighs> well, I guess I'm just gonna go to the airport lounge and um play RuneScape. Mm, not that good of a product. Hmm. The grind is real. Plane RuneScape got absolutely everything charging. I'm just watching plane land. Los Angeles, gate C56. Soy. Ooh, do I want a baked potato for the road? Mmm. Mmm. Oh my gosh. Scones. Why is this place so goddamn busy? This is gonna be another 12 hour flight, so you better know I am snacking up. I'm taking one for the road. Oh man, I'm actually dreading this flight. And you might be like, why Tom, what's wrong? You fly all the time. It's just that I've done, you know, the flight out to LA and back just recently. And when I was on that flight, I was like, yeah, I've pretty much seen every film available on the plane now, like every film that I want to watch. So when I fly now, I have to like watch the, the films that no one wants to watch just to pass the time. Like I would say, oh, I'd sleep on the plane, but I'm not tired. Um, so let's just hope I can help entertain myself on this beast of an aircraft. Oh. Fail you with Tom. Um, I just happened to put my hand in my back pocket where my uh, cold sore cream was and uh, it has uh, exploded all in my back pocket. Mmm, great. Thank God there's conveniently a boots here. So I'm gonna try and find some more cream. Problem solved. I just got so excited for getting on this plane. I was about to get on board, check my Twitter and Ali A just tweeted that he's on a plane about to set off to LA which is exactly what I'm doing. So I just texted him and was like, which flight are you on? It turns out I'm flying with American and he's flying with Virgin. 
Imagine if I could have like met up with him on the plane, that would have been amazing. We're going on this bad boy and then we're getting on uh, the, the L.E.K. The Lek. Ooh, I'm on the top deck. This will be nice. This should be a really nice flight. Sweet as chips. I got my home for the next 12 hours. And rather than trying to film mine, this is what it looks like. You get a little footrest, you get your little chair, you get, your, you get this. Ready? If you don't like the person next to you, you just do this. That gets broken. Oh. I have a guy. Just finished watching Cars 3. Such a good film. <laughs> Seriously. Such a good film. Thank you very much. This is like a, the fanciest plot I think I've ever seen. <laughs> this is our new club service. Really? Yeah, it started back in January, I think it was. Awesome. It's not on all our flights at the moment. No, no, yeah, I've, not, I've not seen this before, so I love it. Out. <laughs> very nice. Wow. This looks incredible. The main course, bit of duck. And oh my goodness me, does this smell absolutely amazing. It looks a bit funky, but it smells amazing. Chocolate pudding for dessert. Mm. Let me tell you right now. This <laughs> is amazing. Like 11 out of 10 amazing. Mm. It's like the world's cutest little snack bar. And you better know I'm taking some of these. You're never too old. Right now, we're quite literally in the middle of bumfuck nowhere. <laughs> Look, in the middle of nowhere. Oh wait, we're flying over Canada. Only got about five more hours to go, so it's rock and roll. Whilst we're currently chasing the sun. I've got to be honest. I, I'm, <laughs> I'm not quite sure what this is. No. <laughs> no. Okay, so apparently that was chicken. But now this definitely looks like chicken. Footrest has been stowed and your seatbelt is securely fastened. I'm so tired. Lowered the blinds. Oh, Please return this oh. to the open position for landing. I love how it's like three o'clock in the morning in England, but it's sunny as hell outside. I am so, so tired. Los Angeles. We made it, baby. We made it. And just like that, my feet <laughs> is on US soil and both my shoelaces are undone. I really should not be filming the uh, sunset right now because every single person in front of me going through security now is at least like three to five minutes. So if I could pass 10 people, that's half an hour. Saved to get me through security faster. And if you think I'm joking, I'm not. Like, I literally look how fast I'm walking. I sprint past people. If I can get in front of every single person here, that'll probably save me an hour. Got my mugshot. On to the next step. Oh mate, I'm hoping to breeze through here. This is going to be a new world record for me. I should have set a timer, a stopwatch there, because that is the quickest I've ever got through that airport in my life. <laughs> I just got a text off Ali A um, saying that he's going for drinks at the hotel, but I'm going to go to my apartment, shower, get changed, pack an overnight bag, and then, then go to the hotel uh, and catch up with everyone. I don't know who's going to be there. I believe like nearly every YouTuber in the world is, so. A total of five minutes later of getting off the plane, I am in LA. <laughs> Easily the, f the fastest I've ever got through this airport in my life. Oh my god. I've got it. I've got it down to a T now Like an absolute T pro tip never take the never take the escalators uh, Always take the stairs you can walk faster on the stairs than going down the escalators <laughs> Dude, this is that look at this Oh, no worries, bro. Hey, we're rolling in style though. What I do for a job is I basically just travel around and go wherever I want do whatever I want however I want and I just film it on my iPhone and then I edit it together, put it on YouTube and I've got like an audience who tune in every day Isn't at around about the same time when it's on time to watch what I make. Fabulous? It's the, the, well, the best job in the world. I'm here in LA yep. until, mon until Saturday, then I'm going to Las Vegas and then after Las Vegas, I'm coming back to LA and then on Monday, I'm going to Ukraine. Unbelievable to go to... I'll be now let me ask you this. You <laughs> do this with an iPhone? Yeah, you know, like how some people have like all professional cameras and all that sort of stuff, but everyone's got a phone in their pocket. And if you just pull out your phone and film with that, if you've got a steady enough hand and have, a, have an eye for a shot, you don't need no thousand pound... Well, this the iPhones are like a thousand pounds, aren't well, they? But like, you don't need no camera. Which, which one do you have? I have the iPhone X. I have an i8. Uh, yeah, that, that, see, that's perfect for it. If you wanted to film your entire day, you could film on that so, so you have a, and post it on YouTube. <laughs>
Interesting. That, I, fascinating. So you have your own. You, I don't know any of this shit about. It. Yeah, I have, I have my own YouTube, YouTube channel actually. called Life of Tom. So you have a following that that loves to look at your your postings. Yeah, they just like follow my life. They've, I've I've almost filmed every day of my life for nearly three years. Now, where do you get the money? That. Does somebody pay you? <laughs> Everyone always asks that. Everyone always asks, like, how do you get the money? Uh, basically, you know, like advertisements that pop up on, like, say, when you watch a YouTube video, an ad will pop up. Yep. Uh, so it's just like ad revenue that's generated through a mass amount of clicks. So, how do you get the ad? How do you Google pay you. Just unbelievable. unbelievable. Do, do I class as an interesting. Absolutely. <laughs> I, I, mean, this is a, I, I mean, it's un what you do is just unbelievable. I mean, I think you're right up with. I mean, I never even knew. I don't know any of that stuff. How the how? But I tell you what you should do then, right? You should go on YouTube when you get home. I don't know how to get on yeah, YouTube. YouTube. Oh. com, and then go and then search for Life of Tom, and then subscribe to my channel, and then you can explore the world with me. Okay, hold on, hold on, <laughs> hold on. I'm gonna do that now. Let me get this straight. Yeah. So I go home. I get on my computer. Yeah. And I, I you type in youtube.com youtube and there'll be a, a big search bar like almost like when you go on Google and then on that search bar you just type it in and you and you search life of Tom then you click the subscribe button and then you'll get an email every day when I post my new video and then you can just click it and it'll take you to it and oh, you can watch it great I, I, I would love to do and I, I'll, I'll learn something just there you I'll go to look what you're doing see what you I'll do that. I'll do <laughs> Brilliant. I'll probably do it tomorrow morning. Uh, you better do it, then. I'm going to hold you to it. Yeah, no, I'm, I'm going to hold it. you no, to no, it. No, no question about it. I'm going to do it. Yes, because just gave myself a new subscriber. Well, thank you very much, Denny. I appreciate that a lot. Great stay. Thank you, know, you very I'm much. All squared away. Well, I got it down in my mind. Yeah, life of Tom. Yeah, life of Tom. Well, very nice to meet you, Denny. Nice you have a nice day, all right? Very nice to meet you, all right? Very you look nice after yourself, dude. Stay out of trouble. Hope it's busy for you. My guy rolled in style. All right, so it turns out I, di I did fly in uh, a bit later than most people and loads of the the, uh, the UK community a lot from like, you know, Call of Duty guys. They've, uh, oh, my key works, great. <laughs> um, they've all been go-karting. So I've unfortunately missed out on a, on a round of go-karting, but um, I'm gonna go in, shower, get changed, head over to the hotel there. I was just gonna stay here for the night, but they were like, yeah, we've got you a hotel. And it's really close to where the venue is tomorrow. So I'm like, well, rather than staying here and then struggling getting over there in the morning in the traffic, I might as well just go and stay there, so that's the plan. Keys still work. <laughs> rather than immediately rushing out after I shower and go meet up with everyone, if I rip out my laptop, edit my vlog up until now, so then that way when I've got the, I've got a 9 a.m. start tomorrow, so I can't just get up at 8 o'clock, edit the vlog and then go out. Like I need to be at the door by, by 9 a.m. to start the actual day, so... Uh, it's gonna be a long one tomorrow, but hey man, it's gonna be worth it. Call of Duty community reveal, let's go. Uh, I think, I think, I think this is the hotel I'm supposed to be staying at. Uh, as you can tell, I'm not 100% confident on that statement, but will this door open? Ta-da! <laughs> nope. <laughs> How do you get in this hotel? Where on earth do I get into this hotel? V valet parking. All right, yeah, sure, this has to be the entrance. I'm so tired, I'm just absolutely Exhausted. I just want to go to bed. But the thing is, if I go to bed, I'm going to have to set my alarm for like 6 a.m. Then that way I can get up, edit the vlog and upload it. I don't know how the internet speeds here or anything. Or I just stay up now, do it, and then I can have more sleep. I, I need Byron. Uh, update. I found the entrance, so that's a win. Oh, What's this? There a is. table of the tallest <laughs> fucking people in the world. Are you kidding me? Mm, I could have... I I could have stayed up and had a drink with them. I really could have done. They all wanted me to do. They want me to do shots of tequila and stuff. But I don't want to. I just don't. I just want to get in bed. It's now currently one o'clock in the morning, which means it's nearly 9 a.m. in England. Nope. Oh, okay, this, this looks terrifying. Okay. Hey, look. Alright, so I managed to get some sleep, which was uh, pretty good. I'm actually, I'm actually happy that I decided to go to bed rather than stay up and edit. I've managed for my breakfast this morning, by the way. I ate the Nutella tub and a bag of Monster Munch because I forgot to order room service, which I could have just done. But I've got the vlog edited. Um, I have, however, forgot one main key ingredient for travelling. I forgot my travel adapter for my laptop plug. So... I've got to try and get this video rendered and uploaded without the battery dying and I've only got 50% battery left on the laptop so 
This is going to be a struggle bus. I don't know where to get an adapter because there's no shops near us because we're in like the middle of like a massive like car park airport area. To show you real quick, we are like quite literally, look, the middle of a, a car park. Whoa! Whoa! Look at that! That's awesome! I guess that's the one benefit of staying near the, uh, the airport that you get to see the planes land and can we hear it? Not really, you can't hear that at all. Wow, that is so cool. It's coming in bloody sideways, that thing. But I've got to get this edited, but I've got a clip that I want to show you guys. So you remember when I went to uh, to Dubai um, and, I, and that diver came up with a sign saying like, life of, subscribe to Life of Tom, and it was just like such an awesome little moment. Well, um, our friends are currently staying out there at the moment and the head chef of the Oceano, Oceano restaurant, um, I've been following on Instagram for ages and he's such a nice guy. Uh, and I messaged him and was like, listen, I've got like some family friends out there, the people who I met in Ibiza, like Tim and all his family. And I was like, I really want to do something nice for the birthday for Layla, who's, you know, it's her birthday whilst we're out in Dubai, that's why they're out there. And I was like, I was like, hit up this head chef, and I was like, dude, like, Giorgio, I really, really want to do something awesome for him, what can I do? And he was like, well, you can do the divers thing. And I was like, that's a perfect idea. Um, so I'm going to roll the clip. Uh, it's only shot and the lighting's bad, but you can see the reaction of Layla of how shocked she is because none of them knew that I'd organised a diver to roll up with a, a little sign saying happy birthday, but I just thought it was really cute. So roll the clip. Happy And, and that's why I do things like that. That smile is is worth absolutely everything. She was super shocked. She was caught off guard. Like the the, the mum, the dad, nobody knew why this diver came over. And like three of them didn't even know that like it was from me because life's too short. Made the most of it being my saying. Tim and Connor, they both knew like straight away. Like that Tom's organised this because that's his like his saying. That's his motto. But the rest of the family had no idea. So it was like a cute little surprise. Hey, like, happy birthday, Layla or Connor, if you're watching this. Happy birthday to your sister. I hope she liked it. Uh, I just thought I'd like throw it together um, and I couldn't have done it without Giorgio. So uh, honestly, Giorgio from Asiano, thank you very much. Uh, you're, you're amazing. I can't wait to come back. I'm hopefully going to try and work with a tourist board and going back to Dubai and going like skydiving and stuff like that. But we'll just have to wait and see. So guys, I have to go. I've got to get downstairs now and start my day. Tomorrow's vlog, you're going to be seeing the reveal of the Call of Duty community event. By the time you've seen this, you, you would have already seen gameplay footage online. But uh, my vlog's a day behind, so it is what it is. But I got to go. All right, so got to shower, got to get changed, got to go down to this event. I am running seriously late, and uh, <laughs> that's just the way the cookie crumbles. So much love, and it's adios.